Welcome to Now in Android, your ongoing guide to what's new and notable in the world of Android development. In this edition, we'll cover Android API level and schedule updates, Gemini in Android Studio, Google Play, Spotlight Weeks on Adaptive Android Apps and Android AI, Concurrent Camera X, Responsive Layout, Lazy Grids and Anchor Draggable and Jetpack Compose, Kotlin Multiplatform in Room, and more. In 2025, there will be a major Android API release in Q2 and a minor API release in Q4. The minor release in Q4 will include new APIs, but will have no planned behavior changes, minimizing your need for compatibility testing. We've also moved the major release forward one quarter to Q2 of 2025 to better align with the schedules of major Android OEMs. We'll soon begin the developer preview and beta program for the Q2 2025 major release. Android Studio's Gemini AI Assistant can write, refactor, and document code, generate unit test scenarios, analyze build errors, and provide insights for crash reports. It has been integrated into Compose workflows, simplifying the visualization of composables during design time. And it's available now in the Android Studio Canary channel. Google Play shared new ways to grow your audience, optimize revenue, and protect your business, including full-screen portrait videos on Play Store listings, a user selection around interests for app and game recommendations, expanding payment options, algorithmic recommendations for in-app purchases, cart abandonment reminders, support for hardware-backed security signals for improved API verdicts in the Play Integrity API, a new app access risk feature, and more. The Adaptive Spotlight Week covered new documentation for building adaptive apps, the Material 3 Adaptive Library, the developer preview of desktop windowing on Android tablets, custom adaptive layouts in Compose, the new Productivity App Developer Center, responsive layouts in the jet-lagged sample, the new Ink API, and finished with an adaptive Ask Android segment. With Android powering foldables, tablets, Chrome OS, and cars, it's time to consider building adaptive. The Android AI Spotlight Week shared a wealth of resources around the latest at AI and its potential for Android app development, including a quick introduction to large language models for Android developers, Studio's new Gemini-powered code completion, experimental developer access to the latest version of Gemini Nano, Introduction to privacy and safety for Gemini Nano, bringing your own AI model to Android devices, utilizing cloud models to add Gemini capabilities to your Android app, and more. We've been busy writing and posting video links to the Android developer's blog. Donovan covered how Camera X, Android's Jetpack camera library, will now handle the composition of dual concurrent camera streams, starting with version 1.5 Alpha 1, making the feature easier to support. AG wrote about how Chrome 131 and later support third-party autofill services, like password managers, without the existing compatibility mode to autofill forms on websites. Developers of these services need to tell their users to toggle a setting in Chrome to continue using their service with Chrome. Christian announced an upcoming change to the attestation format for the Android FIDO2 API, effective as of November 2024, with a mandatory switch to the new hardware-backed format in early April 2025 due to the deprecation of the safety net API upon which the current attestation is based. Part of the Adaptive Spotlight Week Rebecca wrote about how logic, coupled with window size classes, flow layouts, movable content of, and look ahead scope, was used to create a responsive dashboard like layout in Jetpack Compose in the jet lagged sample. Miguel covered how Flip a Clip, optimizing for large screens, including stylus support and redesigning the large screen drawing area, gave them a 54% increase in tablet users over just four months. In the latest We Are Play, Robbie covers the developer behind Nomad Her and the way she's aiming to reshape how women explore the world. Ksenia covered how All Trails created a new Wear OS application that led to over 1 million downloads, including their use of Compose for Wear OS and Health Connect. In episode 210 of Android Developers Backstage, Chet, Roman, and Tor chatted with Sebastiano about how the Android Studio team builds UIs covering how Compose for Desktop is used in parts of Android Studio and how the Compose Markdown renderer available in the Jewel library makes StudioBot tick. 
we've created a bunch of new video content. The Android Show included a live Q&A from DroidCon London, a big update to Gemini in Android Studio, coverage of the updated 2025 Android release schedule, including some of the internal tech that makes it possible, and more. Google Play released the October Policy Bytes, where Paul covered policy updates around health and medical apps, health misinformation, medical device access, Health Connect permissions, the enforcement process, user data protection, and other key updates. Aleaf covered recent room renovations, including room support for Kotlin Multiplatform or KMP, supporting shared database code across Android, iOS, macOS, and Linux. The talk covers getting started with Room KMP and the basics of defining entities and queries. The companion short covered setting up your environment for Room and KMP. Simona explored lazy grids as a flexible alternative to using columns, especially for grids with multiple columns on larger screens. The companion short creates a landscape layout for portrait content using lazy grids. Yossi dove into Anchor Draggable and how it enables swiping or dragging a component between anchor points. Finally, we explored how Spotify drives discovery and engagement on and beyond the Play Store. We've got some new code labs. Advanced Activity Embedding covers a few newly released activity embedding features, including pane expansion, activity pinning, and full screen dialogue dimming. Add Gemini capabilities to your Android app guide you through the process of adding summarization capabilities to the Jet News sample application using Vertex AI and Firebase and the Gemini API. And we're always checking in on what's happening in Android Jetpack. The first alpha of Material 3 1.4 includes behavior changes such as Material 3 components using the new motion scheme to define their motion, updated colors, and more. New features include wavy progress indicators, support for emphasized type scales, split button shape morphs, and lots more. The first alpha of Navigation 2.9 supports custom navigators marking their destinations as implementing the supporting pane interface indicating to the nav controller that these destinations will be shown alongside other destinations. We released the first alpha of Inc, a modular and configurable library to make it easy to create, render, and manipulate beautiful ink strokes authored in your application. Check out the Now on Android blog post for more Android Jetpack updates. So that's it for this edition. With Android API level and schedule updates, more AI assistance from Gemini in Android Studio, Google Play updates to help with discovery, commerce, and security, Spotlight weeks on adaptive Android apps and Android AI, simplified support for dual concurrent cameras and Camera X, responsive layout, lazy grids, and anchor draggable in Jetpack Compose, KMP in Room, Material 3 Navigation and Ink and Android Jetpack, and more. Remember to like, subscribe, share. Stay safe.